basically I'm with this betting shop company. I've um, been with them for um, 12 years. And um, for the past four years, I, I'm i doing overtime. I mean, I'm doing um, part-time, 25 hours. That's what contract I've been given, 25 hours a week. Um, but since then, they always get me to work more than that 25 hours. Sometimes it can be very inconvenient, and I've repeatedly told them that anytime they're going to give me a lot of overtime, i.e. more than 8 to 10, 11, 12 more hours, they ought to at least discuss it with me before they assume I'll do it. This has fallen on deaf years, and recently, this has gone on for like three years, so recently, last month um, or last week, they gave me like 12 more hours, which I told them I didn't want to do all that 12 hours. Um, they weren't listening, so I wrote to my area manager a text that if they don't um, fix this, I will have no choice but to go over his head to make sure that I do my contract hours. As soon as I said that, three days later, they called me that, oh, I did something in December that they ought to record and give me like a warning, a recorded conversation about it. So I challenge you to say why, what was the time, why the timing, and also this is something so trivial that you could just tell me, oh, I forgot to monitor this customer. This is not something that you have to sit and record it, especially that is um, in December. And they said, no, it, it, it's just a trivial thing. It's just a formal meeting. I said, well, if it's a, if it's a non-formal meeting, why am I being sat down with paper and being recorded and all that? Anyway, um, I refused to do it, and I told the manager that, look, I don't want to go through this. Can we not sit down and sort this thing out? You know, and... Um, okay. Francis, what's, what's, on the holiday. What's, what, what's the question you phoned in to ask me? The question I phoned to ask you is, are they forcing me into that meeting that I refuse to partake mm-hmm. tomorrow, in Sunday, knowing that I'm on holiday on Monday, they're forcing me to go to that meeting tomorrow, and I'm thinking, do can I refuse to have that... Um, okay. meeting being recorded okay or, um uh, when you say recorded do you mean rec- tape recorded digitally recorded or do you mean recorded by someone making a note yeah by someone making a note making a note um well f- first of all do you normally work on a sunday Francis? um yeah you do normally okay. not all the time but mo- most of the time Fine. Yeah. so so it, we're not dealing with the issue where they're trying to drag you in on a day you don't normally work uh, no 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 if, if, it did, i'm scheduled to work yeah if if it's just a question of um uh, bringing you in for this meeting, that they are entitled to bring you in for a meeting. Uh, in fact, if they if, if they had a genuine concern, I know you say it's it's convoluted and fake, but if they had a genuine concern, it would be wrong of them not to bring you in for a meeting to discuss it. And they're also entitled to take notes of the meeting. In fact, if they didn't take notes, they'd they'd probably be uh, running into difficulties in a number of ways because if you ever challenged what was said in that meeting and disagreed with them, well, the absence of notes makes it quite hard to know what happened and they'd be criticised by an employment tribunal for not taking notes. Why is it you don't want them to take notes, Francis? Um, Yeah, because when they were um, telling me that, oh, you did something wrong in December, the the gentleman went outside and I overheard them saying, oh, we're going to manage him out of this company, Ah. you know, and I don't know what I've done wrong. I'm always doing the overtime. In fact, this... Like today, I was meant to fill in for someone, and they refused. They said, no, they don't want me to fill in for anyone. So basically, yep. it's, it's either I do what they want or nothing at all. Yeah. Now, um, I mean, you say that as though it's wrong, but that, I mean, that is the way that most employers work. They expect you. Obviously, they're, it's got to be within reason, but you're there to do what they want as long as it's lawful and reasonable. It, does this all stem back from asking you to work an extra 10, 12 hours overtime most weeks? It's, this yeah. Is yeah so just tell me what your contract says about that. Does it say it, that overtime is compulsory? Can they compel you to do it? No, no, not at all. Uh, not at all. I mean, I've been doing it all these yeah. years. But so, what, so what, uh, Francis, uh, one second. So are you very clear that your contract says that overtime is voluntary? You're entitled to say no. It is voluntary, yeah. I'm very clear on that, right. yeah. And have you ever tried just saying no? I've never said no. All I've said was that they ought to notify me in advance before... As in, because sometimes I will look at it and I have all these hours and yeah. if I try to say no, by then it will be too late and it will be inconvenient for everyone. And I've tried to be reasonable in doing it and yeah. I do rest most of the time. Yeah. Do you know, one, one thing I often find, uh, Francis, the nicer that employers are to employees, sometimes 
the more employees take advantage of it. And conversely, yeah, I, I the, nice, the nicer the employees like you are to employers, the more employers take advantage of it. Um, yeah. But let, let me tell you what I think you should do. Um, th- this is crying out for some action. Are you a member of a union? Yes, I am. Yeah, uh, I contacted them, but because of the weekend, this is why I got an issue with that. Tomorrow, I can't contact any union. Oh, okay, but, well, that's good because uh, uh, the, your employer has an obligation to delay the meeting uh, for uh, for five days if a union rep can't make it. And uh, now you said you're going on right. holiday. How long are you on holiday for? Um, it's only a week, and in fact, my area manager, whom I complain about, also is on holiday now, and I even. When I tried to negotiate with her, I said, look, can we all ne- not sit down? He said, no, I'm going on holiday, but when I come back, we can all sit down with your union and discuss this. So I don't see why he says that. He texts me. I've got evidence of that. And yet, yep. now all of a sudden, this morning, they said, oh, no, that meeting has to take place tomorrow. Yeah. Well, here's what I'd do, Francis. Um, first of all, I'd ask them to delay the meeting so your union rep can come in. Now, they're very unlikely to say no to that because it's a perfectly reasonable request. Uh, I would then lodge a formal grievance against them, get your union to help you draft the formal grievance. And if if that doesn't get you anywhere, because it sounds like they're pretty horrible employers, I would think very seriously about finding a new job and then resigning and claiming constructive dismissal. But that's something I I really suggest. Excuse me, you have a chat with your union rep because they'll know all about this and they'll really be able to help you. And I'm sorry you're in such a a, a horrible, horrible position because you sound like the sort of guy who bends over backwards to help out the employer. Um, And I I, I wish I had um, someone like you working for me, but it's just got to be grappled with. And the nicer you are, the more they will walk all over you. So sometimes, with the help of your union, you just really have to stand up for your rights and say, this is the line. I'm not doing this overtime anymore. I'm not going to be treated like this. And and, and take a stand. <laughs>